Ladies, I don't know about you, but I've been trying to find some creative outlets lately. And today I'm finding inspiration overlooking the beautiful hills in Brentwood. That inspiration being painting. You know, not one of my many talents. Not a talent at all, but I'm gonna give it a try. We're doing a meditative art experience. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like it's gonna bring me a lot of zen. I'm here now with the owner of the art process, Kathy Leader, a mixed media artist and creative coach. Kathy, when I walked into this space, I immediately felt at peace. Is this how you find your inspiration coming outside and the, the beautiful nature around you? Absolutely. This is exactly why I'm inspired to paint and teach. And so we're going to have some fun. We say meditative art experience. What does that mean? So what I do is a lot of my students who I teach are very nervous about painting and creating. So the first thing I do is get us to just calm down and breathe before we do any painting. So we stand in front of our painting, mm -hmm. close our eyes and take two very deep breaths. So breathe in and let it go through your mouth, out. And one more in through your nose, and out through your mouth. And immediately you can feel like you are calmer and grounded, mm -hmm. and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick up a paintbrush, a thinner, the one that's the, over there, mm -hmm. And you're going to imagine yourself breathing and painting at the same time. Oh, I love this. So we're going to start with black. You have black mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to start painting and you're going to imagine your breath coming in. And you're going to just bring your brush up and out. And it doesn't matter what it looks like because we're going to be painting over it and over it. Keep on whatever color you intuitively reach for. That means that color somehow resonates with your mood today, how you're feeling. There is no wrong way to work. And you teach not only individual painting classes, you do retreats, you do a lot of virtual things right now because of the time we're in. Um, what's the big takeaway that you, you want your, your students to uh, have when they're out here experiencing this with you? I want them to feel like this is, that art making is another form of expression, personal expression and that they don't have to sell their piece in a museum or gallery, <laughs> but they have to just enjoy and, and, and get involved with the process of creativity. And so people feel like at the end, especially with retreats, um, they feel like they've gone on vacation. I feel like I'm on ah. a little vacation right now, Kathy. I'm about to be here every day. Yeah. If someone's watching and they're not really a, a great artist, like I'm not, I still draw stick figures, you know, how do you inspire them to get over that insecurity and try something like this? Don't think about it too much. Just work. Just take the paint and have yummy, yummy times with it. Well, Kathy, this is wonderful. I am so so grateful that you allowed me to share this time and space with you today. What do you think of my finished product? I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Thank you. I felt it's so inspired gorgeous. by all the beauty around us. Yes. And this is your abstract expression. That's how you felt today. And it's perfect. Look at you, Layla. You are one creative lady.